Welcome to PTI, boys and girls. In today's episode, the Broncos will trade Jay Cutler. Yeah. Allen Iverson is unhappy, and Padraig Harrington talks about getting lost in Tiger's return. But we begin today with the breaking news of a major snag in John Calipari's move to Kentucky. It is apparently off. And here is the jaw dropper. Rick Pitino apparently has the job. Just this morning, as Calipari was appearing at a press conference in Lexington, Pitino was reportedly working the back channels, telling Kentucky he had changed his mind and would once again coach there. Kentucky accepted Patino's offer and is currently working on extricating itself from the deal with Calipari. Unreal. It is expected that Calipari will go back to Memphis and Patino will be introduced once again as the coach of the Kentucky Wildcats later tonight. Wilbon, this is insane. This is. This is crazy. I love Rick Patino. However, I'm sorry, didn't he mentor John Calipari? How can you just boot this guy out Okay, and go behind his back and stab and twist no, no, like no, no, this. No, 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 You cannot no, no, no. do this. Two things. First of all, and you had to wonder about this all along, Calipari was never their first choice. No. Patino was always going to be their first choice, all right, because he had coached and won a championship, which Calipari has never done. He was going to be their first choice, and he probably pushed away for a while. Then I'm guessing he read that Calipari was making $31, 31. million. Dollars. Yeah, the but most, Rick could have gotten that money from Louisville. But the most they got money no Rick, worse people there. The most money Rick ever made while he was coaching Kentucky, was $2 million. Do you think he wants the guy he mentored to get that kind of money? And he's yes, he at, should. At a bigger school, and he's at the he smaller school. He could have gotten this money right there in Louisville. Or just go to Arizona. They'll give him $4 million a year. Why do you have to go back because to Kentucky, which is risky from a no, coaching standpoint? Kentucky screwed up with Gillespie, and everybody knows it. He's the safe bet, Patino, and he makes all the sense in the world. He won no, a doesn't. championship You don't go there. back home again. You won. You leave him screaming your name. No. Calipari will be back. fine. He goes back to Memphis. He gets all the recruits. Tyreek Evans will probably he stay. Doesn't get the money. They, oh, they were ready to match Memphis. it dollar for dollar. You want to tell him, or should I? You tell him. April Fool, you're yeah. on board. We are so good at this. That was such a low blow to our viewers. All right. We'll start with the real show now. By the way, I like that story. With the real news. I thought we did well. John Calipari was indeed introduced this morning as the head coach at Kentucky. Yes. Where he declared he's a regular guy, even though he has signed a contract for the irregular sum of $31.65 million already. The people of the Commonwealth are making plans to travel to Indy for next year's Final Four. Tony, how long do you think it's going to go before Coach Cal has restored the roar in Lexington? Two to three years at the most before they get to the Final Four. Two to three I'm, years. I'm saying on two. All right, two, two, two years. Two years. Here, here's the difference. When Patino came to Kentucky, they were basically on probation. They had lost everything. They're not on probation. Calipari is undoubtedly going to bring one or two of those recruits that haven't yet signed for Memphis yeah, in this great think, recruiting class over to Kentucky. The, the, the boosters, the administration, the fans, They're all going to be behind this. You know what struck me? I, I think two years is about right, too. You know what struck me about his press conference in Lexington? He, he, he so reeled these people in. He talked about Dan. So forget the part about Joe B. Hall and Tubby. We knew yeah. all that and Sutton and Patino. He, he, he talked about calling Dan Issel, and he talked about getting phone calls from Tayshawn Prince. I mean, these are these are sure. godlike he's a names smart in guy. Kentucky where they have won these he championships. He is a smart guy. He lowers expectations, he, says he can't walk on water. He's going to walk on water there. <laughs> Look, walk. this is important. He's not just a recruiter. He a great coach. two teams to the coach. final four. They appear to have done the smart thing. You yes. maybe less so because you've got confetti on your head. That's fine. At, at least... I don't have hair. I may as well have confession. Okay. Okay, then real news about Rick Pitino. Pitino says he is staying at Louisville, and Kentucky has nothing to do with this. Arizona does. Pitino's name had been floated as a candidate for the vacancy at Arizona, but he told Seth Davis today, quote, I'm not a candidate for the Arizona job, and I never was. I am not interested in any job. I am definitely returning to the University of Louisville, unquote. Well, when you have a house in Arizona, did you think Pitino was going to be your neighbor? No, but I, th I thought, wow, if they can pull this off, what a great thing for Arizona if they could hire Rick Pitino. It makes all the sense in the world why Rick Pitino would stay where he is. He's got that thing going. Now, now Arizona is not, the cover's not bare because Lute Olsen hasn't been gone long enough and he had as good a program in Arizona as Rick Pitino had at Louisville. I will say this, though, that people have mentioned Jeff Capel's name at Arizona. 
I would applaud that choice yeah. with a standing ovation. I don't have a house in Arizona, so I'm not as plugged into Arizona. What I'm, <laughs> concerned about, in? I'm concerned about this. What do you think will happen now in the Commonwealth of Kentucky with Patino at Louisville and Calipari there? What if Calipari beats him? He was Calipari's mentor. Yeah. And this happened with Knight and Krzyzewski. They'll Krzyzewski. beat each other. Happened with Bo and Woody. Other. They'll beat each other. They'll be competitive. I don't think it'll sit with Patino. They, they, they were already recruiting some of the same kids anyway, so that doesn't change. He's not. He's a competitive guy, first and foremost. He doesn't want to lose. Okay, so they're going to beat each other, do you, presuming do you, they continue do you think to that play Rick each other. Will continue to boost John's career, or do you think? Or do you see? It's okay if you beat other guys, but yeah. when you beat the mentor, it's, it's a little tough to take. And I don't think that they're going to both lose sleep. You know what they're both going to do? Win. I'll tell you this. Win a lot. The press in Kentucky win will gin this up every single day, every day. If if allowed to, if every day, if they don't they give every them day. any meat, it's going to be hard to gin up.